What's up guys? Uh, it's Dino here again and today I'm bringing you guys another commentary of training and today we're training shoulders and arms so I started off with seated dumbbell shoulder presses and right now I'm doing 60s for I think 10 reps I started writing down each like all my workouts now since I started my new training split so I can track my progress to see how I'm getting stronger like like little stuff like that like different workouts that I have so I know how I'm improving and stuff like that so I moved over to 70s for 10 reps I did 60s I did the 60s for two rep, uh, two sets and the 70s for one right here I did it for 10 it's the last rep right here kind of hard and then after this I did 80s but right now I'm doing 75s but I did 80s and I thought I could do 80s but my wrist gave out I got like six but my friend Kyle helped me so I didn't want to put that in the video because it was kind of embarrassing. But then I just dropped it down to 75 and I only got about like six, I think, by myself. Well, I would have gotten more if I didn't do the 80s because I was kind of worn and tired out after doing the 80s and failing on that. But no big deal. I probably get them like next week or the week after that. So I'm not really too mad about that. And then I did four sets, four total sets. And now I moved over to standing side lateral raises. And right here I'm doing 45s for 12 reps. Now the way I do these, I don't go too high. I just go right where I feel it. Because if, if, if I go any higher, I'm going to feel it a lot in my traps. So you don't want to go too high while doing these. You want to kind of like, kind of just want to raise with your elbow pretty much. You don't want to like use your forearms or anything like that. So Because you're using other muscles to like get the weight up and that's not really good. So just you lose feeling of your forearms pretty much. Just have your hands as hooks. And just raise your elbows, which I'm doing right now with the 50s. I did 45s uh, for two sets, and then I did the 50s. This is my last set, I think. It might be my last set if I do a drop set right here. Oh, no, that was actually the third set of doing side laterals. But after I did the 50s, I went over to 30s and got them for 12. I did four total sets there. So, so far, I've done eight total sets for shoulders. And now I'm doing machine rear delt flies. And I do, um, this is my first part of the, of my training split of the week. So I do 12 sets for shoulders and they're kind of like straight sets in a way, but I do like one drop set at the end of each exercise. So I, I kind of try to lift heavy and with a good form, obviously, but I'm not trying to get too much volume. I'm just trying to get stronger and break down the muscle at the same time. So I did the rear delt flies for four sets and then after that i did bicep curls well i started arm training now and right here i'm doing the 60s for 12 on the easy bar barbell curls and then i went over to 80s i would have done 70s like a pyramid set 60 70 80 but i couldn't find 70 anywhere so i just said fuck it and i did the 80s this is my third set with the 80s i believe 80 i did it for 12 reps and then I drop set it to 60, which I'm doing right now. And then after that, I did four, I dropped it down to 40 and got it for, I think, 10, 12 on all these sets. And four total sets here. Only did, I only did four sets for biceps because I'm going to hit biceps again later on in the week. So I don't want to fatigue the muscle too much because I'm going to hit it again anyway. So there's no point of going too hard on it. My next workout with shoulders and arms will be a lot more like volume and more supersets and stuff like that. But I'll still, I'll still keep it heavy, just more different, different movements and stuff. <clears throat> Look at that bicep. <laughs> Nothing impressive, but after biceps, I did triceps. I you, I would um, I would do um, what's it called, skull crushers. But I did them last week, so this week I decided to do incline close grip bench. This hits more of your inner part of the tricep, which a lot of people lag. I don't know why, because there's many exercises you can do, like dumbbell overhead extension or this, for example, and it really hits it that good. Or you can do flat, flat close grip bench, but when I do flat, it kind of hurts my wrist, because I do suicide grip 
on these and it feels better on the incline too also I did four sets there I did 115 time for 12 reps I did two sets of that then I did 135 for 10 reps and now I'm doing 155 for eight well I didn't want to go heavier because it was my last set and if I got any heavier I wouldn't feel it as much the reps would be too low and I didn't I don't think I'm getting that much done if I if the reps are like under eight so I like to keep my rep range between 8 to 12, primarily 12. I try to hit 12 every set. 10 to 12, I'm satisfied with 8. Eh, it's okay, but anything less than 8, then I will drop the weight lower. Unless it's like a am moving around, going all out on my strength, and just to see how much I can get. Then I wouldn't mind it that much. But now I'm moving, not moving. <laughs> now I dropped set to 95 for 12. So I did four total sets there. So far I did... Eight sets for arms, four sets for biceps, four sets for triceps. <clears throat> and now I'm doing hammer curls. It was really hard to get a good ass angle to do these because where, the, where my dumbbell um, alley is in my gym, there's like nowhere to set the camera up unless the floor or like a bench. And that's what I did, but I didn't realize how dark it was, so you can't really see me doing it. What do you mean you can, but it's kind of like a, a rough, sketchy scene. <laughs> But now I'm doing hammer curls for like the, my brachialis on my forearm. It hits my bicep too, but I want to hit forearm as well. I'm doing, I did 35s for 12, 45s for 12. I did 35s for one set and 45s for three sets. So I did four total sets there. And right here I'm drop setting it to 20s, I believe. Or tw 25s actually, yep. And I'm doing 12 reps there. So... That's pretty much the workout. I did 12 sets for shoulders all together and 12 sets for arms. And I'll hit arms again, I think in like the next couple of days and shoulders obviously, but there'll be more volume and stuff. And that's the workout guys, thanks for watching. I have a leg day video that I have edited and I just have to commentate over and that will be uploaded later on in the week. So don't forget to like, subscribe, share and comment on what you guys would like me to talk about in further videos thank you guys for watching peace douchebag douchebag